Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Mr King and Mr Miller, for being here today. Just sticking briefly with Australia Post, Mr King, how much do you pay Australia Post for community representation fee? Not the transaction fee, the community representation fee. Uh, it's, it's subject to some commerciality requirements, uh, Mr Roberts. So I've said it will be over $200 million over the 10 years, including the, the fee. So, um, we might so, see whether we can provide that separately in, 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 uh, in confidence. Okay. It wasn't uh, commercial in confidence in 2018. Is there something that's being hidden? No, no. We'll just we'll work with Australia Post on how much detail we can uh, give you. Okay. So you'll get, take that on notice. Okay. Yes. Um, your submission relies on digital technology as a fallback to the removal of physical branches. Yet 23.6%, almost a quarter of the population, either lack access to or the ability to handle digital banking. Why are you turning your back on almost a quarter of the population? Do they not have enough money to, to warrant your attention? Well, we're, we're, what we see in our customer base is 96% of customers uh, are di uh, engaging with us digitally in terms of, of transactions. That's your so customer base. I, I asked about your, of the population. The population of Australia, a quarter day, yeah, and we almost have, a quarter. In, term, in terms of our service offering, if you take for cash, we obviously have our own, our own branch network uh, and the Australia Post and an ATM arrangement. So there are uh, plenty of opportunities for customers who ch still want to use cash uh, to get cash through the country. Thank you. The ACCC reports Australians lost $3 billion in online scams in 2022. Has Westpac done any work on what share of that has come from Westpac and the banking sector in, gen in general forcing this 23.6% of the population online when they lack the skills to avoid being scammed? Is Westpac simply setting these people up to lose their money in an online scam? Uh, in short, no. The, the two or the three biggest drivers of scam losses, and, and the biggest one by a long way, is investment scams. Uh, investment scams, you know, we've got less financial planners in the country, more people doing research, including on social media platforms, uh, and, and so that's devastating. Romance scams are still pretty high in terms of people being prepared to pay uh, for romance scams and then business email compromises. So. A lot of those um, are issues around how customers are being uh, tricked out of their money, effectively. And the way the banks are reacting is uh, to do everything we can to help customers make better decisions, so prompt them about uh, those type of things, put friction in the system to stop the payments. Um, but we do need to uh, help our customers pick these scams up um, uh, as well. Okay, in towns where you closed your branch to provide education to, to former customers uh, and, and how to use online banking safely, do you open a digital education centre in those towns? Mr Miller? So uh, in a regional town where we're closing a branch, we have a fairly lengthy period where we're consulting with our customers. Uh, we run education sessions from the branch before it closes. And then following uh, uh, when the branch has closed, uh, we've enabled our call centres uh, to be able to take calls from customers anywhere in Australia where they can continue that digital ex uh, um, education with customers online. Uh, we would have had 340,000 of those conversations with customers since uh, March this year. So some of them are in a physical face-to-face -face in, in the town where the bank's about to close? Absolutely. That's our, that's our priority during the transition period. Thank you. What factors would limit digital banking in regional Australia? Oh, for us, I think we're, we're looking to have everything you can do in the bank in, in the app. Uh, we're not there yet, uh, as Ross said, but we will be. Uh, and then other is, I think, as you just said, um, helping people transition to the digital economy. But I think it's more broader than banking. If I, if I look at governance services, banking services and most um, services in the country, they're all going to go digital. So we've got to help people get on. And, um, then telecommunications is obviously critical as well. Are you saying there will be no cash? Not, none of this stuff? No. I, I, you said all I digital. Believe that, um, I believe there will still be uh, cash in the economy, but the usage will go down. I, 
you know, I think I used the stat before, in 2007, 70% of consumer transactions were cash-based. It's now 13%, and it will go uh, further down is the trend. So it's just uh, cash will be less important in the scheme of things than it, than it has been historically. So on that, what are customers supposed to do if the bank or the NBN or the tel telco fails for a whole day? Uh, I noticed that in Mount Isa, uh, the day before I arrived just recently in Mount Isa, uh, there was there was no no uh, internet, no internet, what do you call it, uh, FBOS. So people yeah. had to use cash. Business business was open purely because of cash. So that that is a, an important part, but also the the merchant terminals can go into a mode which is called offline for a period of time as well, but you need your card. You need to put your physical card in. It's hard to use a, you know, the digital wallets uh, in that situation. So there are, um, there are fallback facilities when um, uh, telecommunications are down. It's a bit how, harder when the power's down, obviously. Um, uh, but in that case, like we do in any um, event, uh, a flood or fire, we would actually get cash into the area and a way to distribute it. Uh, we did that up in Lismore through, um, through the floods, including by uh, flying it in. Okay, so if, um, if a constituent of mine goes to a farmer's market and pays cash, how is that trapped in the, uh, how is that captured in the, in the data for, for cash use and, and electronic uh, payment? Uh, well, it, uh, it'll depend on whether that uh, merchant, um, rep how it reports, uh, and certainly when we're tracking cash usage, we're looking at money going in now the banks. So it'll just depend on on how that uh, person banks, whether they go near a bank at all, they might just spend it. Um, so we know how much, you know, the Reserve Bank has the data on how much cash is on issue, and then uh, it touches the bank at certain points, but we don't see 100% of it because some of it's in the economy and going, going around without us seeing it. That's, that's exactly the point, isn't it? Because the, the uh, data does not capture all the cash transactions. If, if, it won't, if it doesn't go through us, we won't see it. That's right. Correct. Uh, could, so could the volume of cash transactions occurring outside of the banking sector be quite different to the data you present as being the reduction in cash transactions? Uh, I mean, possibly, but the Reserve Bank also does periodic surveys uh, where they survey uh, 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 consumers on how they're using cash. So that doesn't rely on the reported data. data you also get surveys. So, uh, but our experience and what we're seeing is there is less cash being used for transactions and much more uh, cards, and particularly debit cards, are being used for transactions. Malcolm, last question, Malcolm. Last okay. Question. Um, I'm being sent complaints about queuing in the branches that remain after closures in the area because your point of presence is now inadequate. If a customer wants to use face-to-face -face and their branch is closed, so they go to the next nearest branch and that is queued out the door, so they give up and go home and use phone or internet banking, would you consider your bank as, as being helpful? Uh, we, you know, as I started with, customer service has got to improve, so if there's examples from your constituents, send them through and we'll have a look. Thank you. Thanks, Senator.